again. I'm Lut Alexander Valerievich. Uh, I'm uh, employee of Department of Applied Mathematics and Programming from Seoul Tural State University. Uh, it's located in Russia. I am really glad to uh, all those who decided to attend uh, my report. Now let's proceed to my research. Uh, the title of my work is Inverse Problem for Incomplete Sobolev Type Equation of the Height Order. But change. Okay. Uh, let's start with uh, uh, let's start with the problem statement. Now uh, let U F Y be Banach spaces. Uh, the following operators uh, and functions uh, are defined. Consider problem one, two, three. Uh, equations one is incomplete non-homogeneous height order a Sobolev type equation uh, where the operator L can be degenerate. Uh, conditions two is uh, the Cauchy conditions uh, and conditions three is uh, over-determination conditions. Uh, it arises from the fact uh, that uh, in order to find solution to the inverse problem one, two, three, uh, is, is required in addition to finding uh, the functions we uh, to restore the functions Q. Uh, let's talk a little about the history of this problem. Uh, the first study of undertable uh, dif uh, differential equations with respect to the height uh, uh, height derivative was given in first paper in uh, 1885 year. Uh, then one, one uh, of the first for solve the Cauchy problems for equations of the form S is Sobolev. Uh, after one, uh, this type of equations was numbered. Number uh, three and four are uh, the works that are the main ones uh, of my research. Uh, Paper five contains uh, one of the first mention uh, of uh, possible applications of my research is uh, just the uh, business law equations. Equation uh, I will say more about a uh, little later. Uh, this report uh, is based uh, on the result of my last uh, published work uh, six and seven. Uh, the first result of uh, the study uh, was the reduction of task uh, one to three to two uh, to two uh, equivalent in aggregate task four, five, six, uh, seven, and eight. Now, uh, where four, five, six uh, usually covered a regular problem, and seven, eight is singular. Uh, then sufficient uh, conditions for the existence and unique uniqueness uh, of the solutions for problem one to three were obtained uh, formulated in form uh, of theorem one uh, presented on the slide uh, uh, here in uh, an eclipsed uh, form uh, the solutions uh, of a singular problem uh, is attached. Uh, uh, the proof is given is previously uh, presented paper six. Uh, next, uh, the business law mathematical model uh, on the graph was considered. Uh, the graph uh, uh, represents a structure uh, consist, uh, consisting uh, of the elastic rods. The vector functions V uh, describes uh, the longitudinal displacements uh, of the road at point X uh, at the time T. Uh, the coefficient of the equations uh, describe uh, such uh, quantities uh, of Young's modulus, uh, Poisson's ratio, and material density. 
density. Uh, the DSRS function Q uh, is the parameter of the external load on the rod. Conditions then uh, is the conditions of flow balance uh, and conditions 11 is uh, continuity. Uh, <clears throat> conditions 12 uh, and 13 defined the initial position and initial velocity on each uh, edge of the graph, uh, respectively. Uh, the overdetermination conditions 14 means some average uh, value over the entry graph. Well, this is uh, uh, scalar projects in the uh, uh, banner space, L2. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, uh, the inverse problem for the business law mathematical model was investigated uh, by reducing uh, it to an inverse problem for incomplete uh, height order Sobolev type equation as shown on this slide. Uh, here, uh, lambda uh, are aging values and x uh, uh, are their uh, corresponding aging functions. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, for, uh, the next uh, stage of my work uh, was the develop of an algorithm for the numerical method. Uh, the slide show a diagram of this algorithm at the beginning the input data uh, is given for example, functions have a end uh, of the equations. Next, the auxiliary Sturm Lewis problem is solved. Uh, the, uh, con uh, the conditions of uh, two uh, of theorem two are verified. Uh, our formula is uh, complete for carrying out successive approximations of the function Q, uh, and the initial approximation is given. Uh, the first approximation uh, is calculated uh, and it's uh, divided uh, from the initial one is estimated. Uh, uh, a cycle is started, uh, then calculated successive approximations um, until the specific uh, division uh, in successive approximations is researched. We get uh, the function uh, Q uh, and this uh, graph. Uh, let uh, us verify the remaining conditions of the theorem two. Uh, let uh, us present the solutions uh, where we are in the form of Clerkin approximations. Uh, we find uh, the solution uh, to a singular problem. Uh, and if the operator L um, um, uh, turns out to be generate, we find a solution a singular problem. Uh, next output uh, the functions V, <coughs> the functions V and this graph. Uh, based on this algorithm, uh, our program was written in the maple environment. Uh, I will give one several computational experiments uh, carried out in the developed uh, program according to the algorithm uh, presented earlier. Uh, let the graph G uh, take the following form and set the parameters. Uh, parameter, uh, parameters and function uh, in the following form. Uh, <clears throat> uh, therefore, we obtained the uh, following mathematical model, Boussinesque uh, law uh, uh, on the graph. 
After checking the conditions of the theorem to we restore uh, the parameter uh, curve, uh, uh, external influence curve, uh, which was obtained uh, in three steps of successive uh, approximations. Uh, um, uh, next, uh, figures uh, is functions Q uh, and all successive approximations. Uh, then the vector functions Fu V V V uh, was found, uh, which uh, consist uh, of the sum solutions uh, to the regular and singular problems and presents the longitudinal displacement uh, at the point X at time t on each edge of the graph. Graphs of the vector functions are given different times uh, t uh, from 0 to 10. Uh, <clears throat> during uh, the course of the uh, these studies, uh, five articles were published in English language uh, in indexed scientific journals uh, received uh, two certificates of registration of the computer programs, it's one and two. Uh, all results were repeatedly reported at various conferences and seminars. For example, uh, in, uh, last year, uh, at this conference, uh, there was a presentation with the theme of the my research is inverse problem for Sobel type equation of the second order. Uh, in addition, our research was supported by a grant from the Russian Foundation for Basic Research. Uh, the grant number indicated on the slide. Uh, that's all. For me, thank you for attention. Uh, ready to answer all your questions. Thank you. Um, there is now time for questions. I don't seem to see if there is any question. I don't, you can raise your hand or just and since we are not a very large crowd, you can also just unmute yourself and ask the question. If I'm not mistaken, we have 15 minutes for questions, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, may I start then with a question? Um, you should... You can show slide six. I think that is the, maybe that's basically the good one to start my question because this is your, so if I understand your algorithm correctly, you do the whole solution in, in time domain. And I was wondering if you would, if it would help if you would go take say the Laplace transform of your equation nine and then you somehow an approximation in the frequency domain to, to get to your Q. And then, of course, you get the Laplace transform or the Fourier transform of Q, and then you have to transform back if that would have an advantage. Uh, for finding a function for uh, V and Q, I first uh, use uh, uh, for form uh for uh, formula for finding q uh is formula um, uh, takes from the previous work uh and i adapted for cheese problem uh here uh, then uh i uh, uh, have uh, I use uh, Galerkin's uh, some some for this. Uh, it's uh, 
sum of x uh, and t. Mm -hmm. uh, then I subs here and uh, solve them uh, uh, and then I solve uh, Yeah, I was just wondering if you take the Laplace transform or the Fourier transform of equation nine, then you get more an equation only uh, okay, depending on the on the frequency, but just an um, equation in the in the Laplacian, and then you can use only the Galerkin in in the spatial coordinate if that would help. I'm sorry, maybe I can help. Can you hear me? Yeah. My name is yeah. Adona. Unfortunately, I don't have the camera. I'm the next speaker, speaker but uh, I don't have camera, so I'm just speaking. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Okay, maybe I'll try to help Alexander in this situation. Um, our equations are degenerate, and uh, they are Sobolev type equations. Mm -hmm. That means that uh, the operator at the highest derivative is non-invertible, and uh, that is why we um, here apply our theory uh, of the phase space, mm -hmm. the phase space method, uh, which uh, allows us to split the spaces and uh, the action of operators. So when you have this splitting after that, of course, when you uh, have a, a invertible operator on subspace of ours, which is called the phase space of the initial space, uh, then you can use uh, actually um, the Laplace transform, for example, to solve this equation. But uh, the uh, main difficulty is uh, in the um, that our equations are Sobolev type equations. Yeah. So okay, I'm I'm not I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm not, I've mm -hmm. never worked on on this, so I've just uh, so if I would. So my question is basically, if I would go to say nine and I replace and say the, the 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 v by its Laplace transform, I can always take the Laplace transform with respect to time. Of course, that's that's uh, because I. But think but but then you'll have the same difficulties as yeah, we do is just because a, of degeneracy. Yeah. Yeah. So there is really and yeah. then then it's also it's also the case that there is not an. Uh, or oh, what is in these cryptox systems called regular system yes. that you have yes. some S for which this operator yes. or this new yes. operator is then invertible. Yes. And that's yes, not the sure. case, I understand. Uh, here, when you use Laplace transform for V, for example, yeah. um, it is just the different approach we use uh, for the first order equations in T uh, semi-group approach and for the higher order equations, we use uh, MN functions. If you if you heard about such or yeah. cosine sine functions, mm -hmm. yeah. So it is almost the same. But uh, our uh, difficulty is, uh, uh, and our uh, main point here is that we uh, allow our operator be degenerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that I. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. I see no other questions, and I want to thank the speaker once more for this uh, talk. I can just speak and clap. Yeah, you. 
you may stop sharing. Yeah, that is a bit good. And we have a seven, eight minute break. Recording stopped.